What's up guys, I'm Cal, and today I'm going to be furnishing the new high aisle in room here in the ancient anchor. I don't have a strict theme in mind for this one, I just wanna make sure it's high functionality with some of the key services that you'll need for your adventures in high aisle. And I wanna make use of some of the new furnishings that we got with this expansion. As with all of the in rooms in the game, we're definitely gonna to have to get a bit creative to fill the space with just 34 furnishings. But I've collected a few large pieces that are gonna help us out there. All right, let's head on up and get started. And the in-room itself is just up this staircase. I love how convenient it is to get to here in the middle of Gonfalon Bay. All right, heading on in. As always in High Isle, it is raining, which means we are not getting any light through those windows. I am really looking forward to that new Q3 collectible reward. I think it's the uh, Hourglass of Alkatosh. I just saw it on the PTS and it lets you change the time of day in your homes. Hopefully that will also allow you to turn off some of the weather effects because it'd be nice to get some light through these windows. Here is the base room with the one lantern it comes with. And now before I go ahead and start throwing down a bunch of furnishings, let's go ahead and just get a little bit more lighting in here. So I do have a couple of Leowin sconces I'm planning to use and then I've got a couple of vampiric candlesticks here that I think go with the aesthetic that I'm gonna be using here as well. So that's most of our lighting for the room. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some services. Like I mentioned earlier, I want this to be a highly functional room. So we gotta get the banker and the merchant as well. And then I've been getting a little bit more use out of the armory station recently. And I like that it adds another light source to the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that in the corner for now. And then the other main service I really like to have in all my in rooms is a dye station so that I can tweak my outfits in a well-lit space. Not every city has a good dye station situation. So those are the main services I wanna have. I wanna have the banker, I wanna have the merchant, armory station, dye station. Uh, beyond that, most of this is going to be aesthetic. Now, one of the cool things that they added to the game in the last set of crown crates was actually aquariums. So let me go ahead, I think they're under gallery display. And I was lucky enough to grab a few of these. Now normally you wouldn't have enough furnishing slots to put an aquarium in an in-room. If I was building this from scratch, uh, I mean, we'd be talking 20 furnishings or so just to get this. So awesome to have that. I hate that it's a crown crate exclusive, but you know, uh, I did get a couple of them, so I'm gonna use them. The other thing from this is I did finish leveling up my Tales of Tribute, so now I have a couple of Tales of Tribute display items. Unfortunately, I really only have room for one because of the armory stand, and I'm gonna go with the decks, the deck collection. I always like to add a music box to all my rooms. This one was in the Crown Store recently. I think it looks really cool, but more importantly, it's actually got probably one of the better songs and it also serves as a light source. So when it's turned on, it adds a little bit more light to the room, which is cool. Uh, and then this aquarium doesn't have a light of its own, but there's these mages flames, another crown crate exclusive, unfortunately, but these actually work great for aquariums. You'll see that the glass actually hides the item itself, but you still get that cool lighting effect, which I think is perfect for an aquarium. So we're gonna add that. All right, so that is all of the special stuff. Now it's mostly high aisle and a bit of Leowin furniture. So uh, I really like the rustic high aisle stuff and that's mostly what I have picked up for this room. So we've got the counter. I've got a table that I'll probably put over here somewhere. This high aisle herb rack is pretty cool and it actually tucks really nicely into this window. I was playing around with this earlier. Uh, I won't get it just right right now, but you can actually place it just so there's not really any weird clipping or anything like that, which I love. High Isle Sundial, this is available from the Achievement vendor here in High Isle in Gonfalon Bay. Got a rug for the room as well, probably one of the easiest furnishing patterns to pick up. Gotta have a bed, of course. And then you saw these two dressers. I'm not actually gonna put these on display in the room. I'm gonna use them to act sort of as a platform for our aquarium here in the corner. Leowin chair for this table. And you can see here, these Leowin pieces actually match the high aisle stuff pretty well. 
maybe a slightly different stain on the wood, but they're pretty close. Let's see here, what else was on my list? I think I had a few more vampiric pieces I was gonna drop. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop placing items for the moment, move some of the stuff into place, and then figure out what's gonna fill those final six slots in the build out. And I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, there's the finished look. You can see I forgot a couple of the pieces of artwork that I had planned to place. I love these new tribute tapestries. I haven't collected them all yet, but I do think I eventually will. And then, of course, I did pick out a painting here for the corner. Uh, I also made a couple of small additional adjustments to the aquarium. So I think that these work really well as a platform, uh, but I wanted even more lighting in there. So I pulled out a set of coat of flowers, and uh, tuck them in the fish tank as well. Uh, and then of course I went through and made sure that all of my utilities are still functional. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Working outfit station here, if I need to change my look. Of course we've got the peddler of prizes you have right here. more shinies than you know what to do with. Uh, a working armory station, of course. The banker up here on the windowsill. Fear not, featherless one. Your shinies are safe with me. Safe, safe. Love these guys. Uh, and then just kind of tucked everything into place. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the music box. Like I said, I dig this track. And of course it adds another light source to the room, which is great. Uh, it meant that I was able to save a slot on my traditional furnishings and uh, get an extra piece in here. Just wanted to give a big thank you to all my patrons here before I wrap up this video. You guys are helping to support the future of this channel and enabling me to spend more time creating content for you all, so shout out to you guys. If you'd like to join the crew and gain access to some bonus content, be sure to hit the link on screen now. All right guys, I'm gonna call it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back again real soon with another ESO video. Have a great day and I'll see you for the next one. Be sure to check out my top five homes video next. I've updated my list for Hyal and evaluated every home in the game to determine which ones are the most useful for you.